Hello, my name is Eamon, Chief Nurse at NHS Tess and Trace. I'm going to go through the instructions for using the lateral flow COVID-19 test. I will also give you some information on recording the test result. This video is designed for healthcare staff and clinical educators who are teaching technique or self-administering a lateral flow COVID-19 test. The test itself is quick and relatively easy to use. We will go through the use of the test packs, instructions for individual tests, and also the evaluation process step by step to make sure the tests are done correctly and that the results are as accurate and reliable as possible. So let's begin. Each member of staff will be issued with a pack. Testing should be done twice weekly. So you'll have enough kits for at least six weeks of tests. The pack contains the following. An instruction leaflet, foil pouches containing the test cartridge, a bottle with six mils of solution, extraction tubes and tube caps, sterilised swabs. There are a few things that you should be aware of before you begin for the test to be done correctly and in a timely manner. The test itself takes about five minutes but you will need to allow another 30 minutes for the test results to come in. Please take a moment now to prepare for the test. Make sure the packs have been stored at room temperature. Do not put them in direct sunlight, in the fridge or in the freezer. For each test you will need one device, test solution, tube, cap and swab. Make sure you also have the instructions to hand. Before you start, blow your nose and clean your hands. First check that the test is not out of date and the pouch is not damaged or the seal broken. Now remove the test device from the foil pouch and place it on a flat and clean surface. Please remember that the test must be performed immediately after removing it from the foil pouch. Hold the solution bottle vertically and dispense six drops of liquid into the tube. Place the extraction tube in a clean small container to hold it upright. Please be aware if the amount of solution is excessive or insufficient an improper test result may occur. Now on to specimen collection and extraction. First of all, open the swab, avoiding touching the head of the swab. Tilt your head back. Insert the swab 1.5 centimetres or around half an inch into the nostril. You may feel a slight resistance. Rotate the swab 10 times slowly in each nostril. Insert the swab into the extraction tube containing the solution. Swirl the swab tip in the solution fluid against the wall inside the extraction tube squeezing the tube from the outside. Now place the cap on the extraction tube. The solution bottle should be firmly sealed between each use. Once the swab is done, we begin the test process. The swab specimens should be tested immediately after collection. Dispense drops of this specimen vertically into the specimen well on the device. Do not handle or move the test device until the test is complete and ready for reading. Set a timer for 30 minutes. The letter C is the control line, meaning that the test is valid. If it is not there, the test is invalid and should be repeated using a new device. The T line indicates the test result. If it is present, the test is positive. A positive test will have two lines, a C line and a T line. If the test is positive, the member of staff will need to self-isolate. If the test is negative, continue with your normal activity. And if it is invalid, you will need to take the test again.
Finally, dispose of the device with any liquid solution and the swab in the household waste. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. If you do need a little bit more help, please don't hesitate to contact your local representative. Thank you.